Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug. This film is directed by Peter Jackson. It stars Martin Freeman, Ian McKellen, Lee Pace, Luke Evans, Orlando Bloom, and Benedict Cumberbatch as the voice of Smaug the Dragon. The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug is about the dwarves and Bilbo Baggins they are going on their quest to reclaim their homeland from Smaug the Dragon, pretty much take back what he has taken away from them. Gandalf, he splits up from Bilbo and the dwarves and he goes on his own journey alone because evil is coming near. I was really excited for this film. I love The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey, one of my favorite films of 2012, and I know people had a lot of issues with the first film, but me personally, I loved it, and so I wanted The, the Desolation of Smaug to be just as awesome as An Unexpected Journey, and I'm very happy to say that it is amazing. I love The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug. It is one of the best films I've seen in 2013. My screening for this film was in 3D. The 3D is not really worth it. I mean, if you want to spend your money in 3D, go ahead, but the only thing that really pops out at you in 3D are these bees, and that's near the beginning of the movie. There's, there's those cool shots where bees actually are coming to your face on the screen. It was so cool. You could really feel it. And there were a couple of pop-out moments, but really, other than that, the 3D, it's just not worth it. You're better off paying to see this film at a regular price. What I really love about this film is the visuals, the characters, the storyline, how everything is set up. It continues the journey from where the first film left off very well. I just loved it from beginning to end. Very exciting scenes. Very sharp and amazing visual effects. I think the CGI is fantastic all the way through. Peter Jackson really knows what to do with these films and he proves why he is one of my favorite directors of all time. I just love the direction that Peter Jackson has took and I love how he does callbacks that will certainly please the Lord of the Rings fans. And since I love the Lord of the Rings movies, it really pleased me as a fan. The visual effects were just fantastic. They were polished so nicely, so smooth. The movie, while it may have a long running time, just like the first, I never was bored with the film. Even when there were slow moments in the film, I was really sucked into it. The storyline had me invested the whole time. The characters are all really good. Bilbo Baggins, he is awesome here. The dwarves are awesome as well. There were funny moments, just like in the original. There is dark moments to please the fans, but there's also funny moments to make the movie not as serious at times. And I gotta say, it really works. And especially when it gets to the action scenes, during the action scenes, they try to make it all funny. For example, arrows going through the elves' heads, heads getting chopped off. They really added a lot of comic relief to the violence. Some people might find that distracting. Me personally, I love that they did that. It actually made the action sequences a lot more fun. It was hilarious and epic. At the same time, fantastic choreography as the action sequences were going on really blew me away. Phenomenal camera angles by Peter Jackson with very smooth cinematography because this movie looks astonishing. It is beautiful. I just love the scenery of like when the, this one scene when they're in the barrels and they're in the river, everything. Shot by shot, it's amazing. Lee Pace does a good job here. Orlando Bloom, he is just as awesome as he is in the Lord of the Rings movies. Really loved it. Ian McKellen as Gandalf, he is a badass. Although, I gotta say, Gandalf is not in this film that much. Gandalf is in this movie enough to carry the story. And even though he wasn't in this film that much, I still think he was awesome. The scenes that had him in the film were really cool. They really blew me away. The movie does take a long time to have Smaug the Dragon appear. But once Smaug the Dragon comes, 
holy shit, the movie just goes into a whole berserk of pure awesomeness. I was speechless. The whole movie made me speechless, but once Mel came, I was speechless even more. Benedict Cumberbatch's voice for Smaug the Dragon is fantastic. I don't know if his voice was enhanced or if Benedict Cumberbatch actually changed the voice himself, actually deepened the voice, but whatever he did to do the voice, fantastic job to him. Such a dark character, such a scary character, very threatening. You don't want to mess with this dragon because he is huge as hell and he breathes fire like holy crap. There really is a lot that goes on during the long running time of the desolation of Smaug. The finale of the film is just so fantastic. I just really loved it. My only issue with this film is the cliffhanger. This film is going to have a huge cliffhanger ending. And once the movie ends, you're gonna be like, what? That's it? We have to wait until next year to see what happens next? Are you serious? It didn't even feel like it was coming near the end and it all of a sudden blacked out and you're like, what? The Hobbit the Destination of Smaug has fantastic acting, great cinematography, beautiful camera angles, great choreography for the action sequences, some very funny moments to make the movie not as serious at times, great journey, great scenes, great depth for each of the characters. They are all badass in their own ways. Every single character got to have enough screen time, which is great to see to add more development. One of the best films I've seen this year. Phenomenal, fantastic, splendid, mind-blowing, amazing, tremendous, remarkable, epic. All of those big words is why I describe The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog. It earns four out of four stars. I really can't wait for the third and final film. Oh my Gosh, it's gonna be epic. Subscribe to my channel, comment your opinion on this film, like and share this video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I am 22 Tiger Dude, don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!